The more that people experience the arts, the more they become engaged with their community. And that's what makes Westerville such a great place. Wow, I am so glad that everybody's able to come out on our art walk today. We knew that there was a need for public art here in Westerville. We also wanted to make sure it was a learning process for the public. So that's when we started with having an artist that came in over a three year process, building a sculpture at the community center. Now, if people go over to the sports complex, they're gonna see a series of three soccer players. So over the three year period, it was a process of the public coming in, the artist working in the rotunda of the community center, people asking him questions, him engaging the public so they could see the whole process. In 2010, our focus really was on bringing sculptures and we were able to bring about 14 to 15 pieces of work one of the things that really made our process very unique is the fact that each year working with Midwest Sculpture Initiative, we've been able to swap out our sculptures at least from four to seven pieces on an annual basis. We have a screening process where we have a cross section of our community that sits in and we get the opportunity to view probably about 300 pieces in the course of about two hours. And generally what we do is if we get a tremendous response from the citizens about a certain piece of work, we will keep that peace within the community. The Westerville Youth Baseball and Softball League purchased additional uh, sculptures that have been placed in Metzger Park and Huber Village Park and at Towers Park, and you always see children interacting with those pieces of work. There's always children that are sitting on the bicycle that's on the walkway uh, into the community center, or if you go to the sports park, you see people interacting with the sculpture uh, exhibit of the soccer players. Collins pieces are more abstract pieces of work. We're just delighted as the Collins family uh, to be able to share this, particularly with a community that we've lived in for a long, long time that we actually love. It's been um, recognized throughout the world uh, for its quality of work. And the win-win scenario for us is the pieces of work are available for sale, and if any of the pieces of work uh, do sell, or when they sell, 50% of that funding comes back to uh, the Park Foundation that then is reinvested in more artwork for our community. And then the other 50% goes to a scholarship fund for students. We were very honored to be selected for the placement of this piece um, due to the fact that it thematically goes with your public library. It's called the Storyteller. So the piece behind us here called Storyteller, which was actually made in honor of my mother, who was a teacher for 25 years and then actually wound up being the head of all children's library programs in, in uh, Palm Beach County. Once we had established the sculpture program within Westerville, we really looked at ways that we could bring other types of art to our community. And those included uh, the mosaic tile mural project that the community helped develop. Uh, which is located at the Highlands Park Aquatic Center facility. It was such a wonderful piece because when you talk about community support and community involvement, I mean, people were able to purchase a piece or purchase a block for about $10. And their name is gonna be there and that piece is going to be there for the next 30 to 40 years. I think another piece is certainly the mural project on the Hot Erie Trail. I mean, you're walking or riding your bike or rollerblading, uh, and out of nowhere is this mural that really speaks to our community in terms of creating your own path and bringing the community together. It's one of those things, again, that makes our community so unique. Everybody's able to leave a little bit of themselves here in the community. We have excellent partnerships with sponsors and donors that really fund all the public art. There's been really no taxpayer money that's gone into the public art project. Now other communities are bringing bus tours to Westerville uh, to experience our sculpture program or our mural program. And that's an economic development opportunity where now other people uh, are, are coming to our community to experience the arts. It invites civic pride and participation that can draw people into your community, but it, it can also draw people together. Our public art display also includes commission pieces. The, uh, the Denick family commissioned a piece of work in memory of Jane Denick, and Jane was the leader of the Arts Council within our community, and she was very instrumental in helping us. And we located it uh, at the amphitheater, really because it reflects 
what Jane was about. So anytime that we have a concert, Jane is there with us. It just is truly a tribute to all of the work that Jane did uh, relative to the arts and really making a difference within Westerville. Art has the ability to really create a place and to create different experiences for citizens of all ages to get out and enjoy. We're bringing visitors to our community specifically to experience the arts in Westerville and to know that the arts will continue to grow within Westerville because it's such an important component to the fabric of our community.